everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to take you guys with me in the process of creating a pattern from scratch and i'm super excited because i know this can help many people including myself and i'm super excited to start this project already so to start i want to invite you guys to my studio slash basement <laughs> So welcome to my studio. Here is where the magic happens. And we have a lot of shelves in here with yarn. Here is my table where I film all my tutorials, computers and whatnot in here. Um, I know the lighting, it's not the best down here, but what I wanna talk about today is an app. This app, it's called Bellish and I feel like it is such a good app for beginners and that's what I want to do with you guys today we're gonna create a hat together using this app and I'm super excited because I also I also did cast on another project using the app that I'm gonna show you after but um, I wanted to create something that was more on the simple side so you guys can do it with me so right now i'm gonna pick probably one of these colors i'm gonna make a hat for my son and you guys know i am obsessed with mustard and all that kind of orangey colors so i think this would be beautiful for him so i'm gonna use this because i know the yarn that i, I want to use so I'm gonna pick this for him and I have my iPad in here so I'm gonna show you um, everything you're gonna be seeing the screen in here and you can follow along with me okay so let's talk about bellish so this is a free app that you can download on your phone or your tablet or your tablet <laughs> right now it's available only for ios and it's great let me tell you when i downloaded it and i started playing with it i could not believe how great this app was so basically if you are a beginner or you are experienced knitter but you don't want to be creating a pattern because if you are a designer you already know everything that goes behind creating a pattern so if the math is not something for you if writing down a pattern is not something that you know how to do or the shapes or the colors or so many things that goes behind creating a pattern if that's not for you this app it's gonna be your best friend because basically all you have to do it's choose whatever you want to do choose the shape choose choose the colors and the app it's literally creating the pattern for you it's insane so i think it's a little bit confusing right now but i'm gonna put the screen right here i'm gonna move to the side and you guys can check with me um the the process basically so i'm just gonna move a little bit all right so I have my iPad in here and I'm gonna do my design in here and you guys can check it on the screen. So, okay, so this is the app. It's the pink one, very pretty, that says Bellish. So we click on that and in here you have all the amazing designs and it's super colorful, very, very user-friendly, very, very user-friendly. It's nice. That's all I have to say, it's very nice. So what we do in here, is you go at the bottom where the yellow sign is and you click start a new design. So we click on that and in here you have um, all the options. We have beanies, a drop shoulder sweater, a drop shoulder cardigan, reglan sweater and socks. So, um, and you also have on top in here adult, children or toddlers and like I said before, I'm making a hat for my son, so I'm gonna click toddlers and I'm gonna click a beanie because that's what I wanna create. So click on beanie and now we go on the top, we have the base ready, so now we click on the second one and we can choose if we want fitted or slouchy and I want mine fitted. And then at the top, you can see that it says ribbon and pom-pom, so click on ribbon 
and you can choose a flat or folded and I really like the look of folded hats so I'm going to click on folded and then on pom-pom I'm gonna go without pom-pom because I like to keep my son's hat with no pom-pom or adding a foot foot pom-pom so we're just gonna leave like that then we click on the right on the top right again right here and this is the fun part you can choose different stitches so all of these stitches right here you can choose for the hat which is very fun and i believe bellish is updating every week they are up and they are adding new stitches all the time so like i said before i feel like this app has a lot of potential um i'm going to choose the it's really hard <laughs> It is really hard. Um, the moss stitch is really common, so I think I'm gonna go with the cross stitch. Uh, should I do the cross stitch or the Andalusian? Andalusian, I don't know how to say that. Uh, maybe I'll do the Andalusian hat. How about that? Let's click on that. And then here it gives you like a design. I guess how your hat should be looking so now we're gonna click the next one and in here you can see the yarn so you can choose between fingering sport weight DK weight and worsted and you guys know I love my chunky yarn so I'm gonna go for the chunkiest that I can find and for this one um, worsted is the option so click the next and in here you can choose your size so my son right now is nine months old. So I'm going to make a 12 months hat. Um, so I'm gonna choose the 12 months, click done. And in here, it also gives you the dimensions. So you have the height of the hat or the length and the circumference. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now we go to the next step and we can pick a color. And this is really, really great because if you have a pattern that requires two or three colors, the app will tell you how much yarn do you need for this project per color, which is amazing. You don't have to be, oh, let me just grab two skins of yarn just in case. No, you're gonna have exactly the amount of yarn that you need per color, which is amazing. Um, so because I'm using this um, yellow or mustard color, I'm just gonna put that yellow. And then we click next, and this is where the fun begins. So we have three options, materials, buy yarn, and generate pattern instructions. So if you click on materials, it's gonna give you the gauge um, the abbre abbreviations and on the top right on the top left sorry you click on supplies and it, it will tell you that you need um, 113 yards of worsted weight yarn and you will also need a darning or wool needles and the knitting needles that you're gonna need are 3.25 millimeters and then a 4.5 millimeters which is great. I assume that the little ones are for the ribbing and the bigger ones for the body. So <clears throat> that is absolutely amazing that it tells you all of that. So then we go to details. Again, we have all the details we need to know. Click on back. And then you can also go to buy yarn. If you don't have your yarn in hand, you can click on buy yarn. Okay, so in here, it tells you right away the it brings you right away to the yarn that you need these are um, links that are affiliated so not with me with bellish and I believe it's Nick picks that they use so you can buy in here the worsted weight yarn that you need which is great and then we click on the yellow button that says generate pattern instructions and voila, we have in here the pattern instructions for your project. And you can um, save it as a draft, start knitting, 
and it's the instructions are amazing like i mentioned last night i i mean like i mentioned before last night i did cast on another project from this app this is a sweater that i'm making for also for my son and the instructions you guys are so clear and amazing so I'm gonna grab my needles and start casting on this hat that I'm obviously gonna show you the final results and once I have that done I'm also gonna give you my thoughts because this is the first time that I've been knitting with this app and like I said before it just makes knitting super super easy for people that does not know how to write a pattern or how to create a pattern so it says that I need 3.5 millimeters I have 3.75 in here I think that should be good and I need a short for my 40 millimeters 40 millimeters <laughs> for my um, 16 inches cord so I'm gonna do the ribbon with the 3.75 I could even do it with a 4 if I wanted to because I'm a rebel <laughs> But we're gonna follow the instruction because I don't wanna have a difference in the gauge, right? We wanna try to keep it as um, same as possible. And then I'm using, by the way, my Clover interchangeable knitting needles because I do need two different sizes, so I need to switch. Um, if it was only one size, I would only use the regular, the regular, the regular needles and not the interchangeable ones. Um, so yeah, these are the Takumi interchangeable needles and if you're curious, I'm using Lion Brand Heartland in the colorway um, Canyon Lands. So I'm gonna need this. I'm also gonna need my scissors, probably, most likely. And it, it says there a darning needle or tapestry needle, which I have right here. Okay, so I started already and... I'm just knitting the ribbon. So satisfying, I love making hats. You guys know I love making hats. And this color is also amazing. I love working with Heartland because I feel like it's such a soft yarn and especially for babies, um, whatever is super, super soft, then that's the one I'm using. So I'm gonna continue knitting the ribbon and I'll see you guys whenever I'm done because I feel like it's gonna be a little while just because it's I chose a folded brim and I'm using worsted way so I'll see you guys whenever I'm done this good morning everyone it's the next day and I'm a little cold because the basement is cold so I'm with my blanket in here but I wanted to show you what I have done so far um, I didn't have too much time to finish because you guys know mom life um, but I did finish the the ribbon so this is how it is looking like you're supposed to knit three inches of the ribbon which is exact three inches so I'm very happy and it is a two by two ribbon which I find really really nice whenever I'm knitting hats with this yarn or with this worsted weight yarn I find a two by two ribbon way nicer than a one by one so I'm really happy that the pattern called for a two by two so now I'm gonna go on to the next step and I have in here my uh, pattern on my app and we have to start the body. It looks like very easy, but the first thing we need to do is switch the knitting needles. And I don't know where to put my needles. I'll be right back. <laughs> morning guys it's the next day I'm showered my son is napping so I can actually sit down and talk to you um, about 
the app and the results so let me show you how my hat turned out it's really really cute and I'm actually obsessed with it so this is the final result so you can see the 2x2 two two ribbon in here and then the stitch pattern super cute super easy and then that's the top and again it's a folded brim so I can I can put it slouchy for him or I can actually fold the brim and make it like a tight fit I'm going to insert a few pictures in here of him wearing it I think that it's very very cute and of course he is in the age right now where he doesn't like hats or anything and he's just pulling them off but that's okay I was able to capture a few pictures for you guys so now let's talk about the app my thoughts and all that fun stuff so like I said before at the beginning of this video I feel like Bellish is an incredible tool to have. It's a very good and user-friendly app. I was really impressed the first time I downloaded it and I started playing with it, how easy it is to go through everything. I would 100% recommend it and suggest you to just have it on your phone or your iPad. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to write a pattern, the math is not your cup of tea and you just don't care about reading pattern all you want to do is knit something but also having the feeling of creating your own design because that's the that's what I get from this app is that it's not like okay I'm just gonna go and buy a pattern because I don't know how to write a pattern or I'm gonna just google one and find one for free it's that you get the feeling of creating your own pattern even though you don't know how to do it, the app is doing it for you. So I feel like that's a really great feeling. I, I love that. And also, so that's for beginners and for, for people that have no idea how to um, write patterns and stuff like that. But also for people like me that I know how to do all that stuff, but sometimes I just want to find an easy and relaxed pattern that I don't have to be reading and focusing like, all day I can just follow the first steps and just continue knitting and not having to pay too much attention when there are too many different details and shapes and stuff like that I feel like the patterns are very simple um, but very nice at the same time like this hat it turned out great I love it it's definitely a design that I would do so this is definitely a hat that he's gonna wear for sure and I can also top it up with a nice pom-pom I feel like it's it's great um, so yeah definitely check out the app download it play play with it yeah, so I'm really happy with the results and I hope you guys enjoyed this little pattern journey with me to creating this beautiful hat. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Turn on that bell button so you're going to get notified every time that I upload a new video. And if you liked, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below. What do you think? Have you tried Bellish before? Do you think it's a good app? Do you think it's um, an app that is worth to have on your phone or your iPad? And are you a designer? Are you somebody that creates pattern or you are just learning and just a beginner? So I wanna know all that detail, so please comment below. And I will also leave the link in the description box to the app. Remember that you can download it only on the iOS um, system. So for Apple devices, I will leave the link in the description box below. And thank you to Bellish for giving me the opportunity to test the app and to tell you guys my opinion about it. So I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!